Everybody be quiet. Yes. Oh. It's right in the soul, man. Oh my God. God, the amount of hours I put in this game. God. Don't tell me to be quiet head as fuck. <laughs> Welcome back to the Platinum Hunting, Achievement Grinding, and 100%ing Journey. As you all can tell from the title and thumbnail, we are going down this blocky and open world adventure game to get all the achievements. And you might think this would be easy enough, but oh man, was it everything but not easy and at times not fun. I have spent, not exaggerating, over 200 hours going for all 93 achievements. I seriously wish I was joking, but I'm not. So I think it's time to take a trip down memory lane with unlocking the achievements in the astronomically, influentially, historically accurate game of Minecraft, the Xbox 360 edition. I don't really need to explain to you all the impact Minecraft has had on the gaming sphere and the grasp it has on the YouTube and mainstream media, but I want you all to know, when I achievement in Platinum Hunt or 100% games, I like to stick with the original console and hardware. So that's exactly what I did. I have two Xbox 360s lying around, and I got a freshly restored Xbox 360 controller by yours truly, which by the way, if you guys need a hobby or something more to mess around with, restoring consoles, controllers, and accessories is a great pastime that can actually earn you money on the side for other stuff. I recommend it. I also bought Minecraft on the day it released to the exact release date of May 9th, 2012. I remember telling my mom I needed Microsoft points for the best game to ever release after watching Minecraft trailers and gameplay footage. I had one of my Xbox Live friends buy the game with me the same day to begin our Minecraft adventures, and I'll tell you this, I will always cherish those moments of playing with my online and school friends with the countless of hours I've spent building new worlds and making stories along our journey. I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Hey, you're not here to listen to my boomer stories. You're here for achievements and why this game is an actual living nightmare after the amount of updates and stupid RNG driven achievements that you all get to witness. Right before we get into it, make sure you all subscribe and like the video. It helps way more than you think in the YouTube's algorithm and to let me know in the comments if you have all enjoyed or would like to see any other games. Thank you all for being awesome. Well, let's do this. To begin, I've mentioned already that I'm playing on the original hardware, but it's because the Xbox 360 edition is not backwards compatible. The Xbox One and other PlayStation versions have different updates and things to make them work, and I had a few decision makers to decide on which version I was going to play, which inevitably came down to the Xbox 360 edition that helped start an uphill explosion of popularity, not excluding PC. The achievements in Minecraft are all over the place. Seriously, you have your typical build your first pickaxe, punch a tree, open your inventory, and then all of a sudden, you need to discover 17 of the 40 different biomes, defeat the Ender Dragon twice, and go bribe a dolphin. It was a doozy looking at these achievements because I initially had 19 out of the 20 original achievements that came with the base game. Which to get them out of the way for you all, here they are. I actually have the timestamps of these achievements, which ties it back to July of 2012. I was 14 years old when I got these, and I hate reliving on nostalgia sometimes, but man, what a different time and age. <laughs> But you can see the achievements are pretty easy. They didn't even have the Ender Dragon, and it was pretty much bare bone back in the day. But during those times, you just dealt with it and kept playing on. So when I first went into this game again, I was brand new to a lot of these achievements and had to find them out myself. I loaded up a brand new world, put it on survival, and the difficulty was on normal. And I don't want to hear, oh, Yoma, you're a scaredy cat. Put it on hardcore. Bro, if you have not watched my Skate 3 video, which you should check out, by the way, you all know I am hot, stinky ass at handling the sticks man and you will all find that out again in this video i'm sorry in advance but i had a plan for the majority of these achievements i'm gonna get my world started and unlock achievements without really glancing until i need to my first achievement to start out this journey was for collecting diamonds i can't believe this wasn't an achievement when the game initially came out but talk about a banger start well damn tarnation what? Oh shit, boy, it's not just one. I've never got my first achievement on this game. Diamonds. I've never gotten diamonds. Wow. 
And then moments after building Diamond Everything, I had an accident. You're joking. As I continued playing the game normally, and Twitch chat helping me get my bearings, I unlocked a few achievements by just playing through the game and doing very simple things. Adventuring Time, Iron Man, Enchanter. I also spawned on a village and was able to get the easy supplies for the Librarian achievement on accident. I'm not even joking. Some of these achievements are so basic, but this is a 100% achievement video, so I'm trying to get you all through this, I promise. But as I'm unlocking these in the background for you, because really none of these need a huge explanation, but make sure to come and check out my my Twitch channel. As you all can probably see, I have a live chat helping me out or just talking with me while I grind for achievements. If you ever want to see my horrendous grind sessions, which you're going to see very soon, this is the place to be. Don't be afraid to say hi and tell me you're from YouTube. Thank you all for the support you've given me on YouTube and Twitch combined. So my first day of going back to the Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft ended out my night with 33 out of 93 achievements. Not going to lie, it was a banger start to what I thought was going to take a short amount of time, but for some reason, I have the worst luck imaginable. From this point on, the achievements with the newer updates start to become more and more tedious. I knocked out a few achievements that were insanely easy, like local brewery for making a potion, archer for taking a creeper out with arrows, and I unlocked a creeper baseball cap that I can sell on eBay later. Then I made an iron golem named Walter White because, well, yeah, you get it. I swam in lava with fire resistance potions. Also, fighting ghasts on a controller is a messy situation. I don't know how you controller people do it, but my god. I actually was getting so irritated over the timing and then positioning to get the ball to hit it. Come on, go up! Let's do! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! What? 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 No! You're joking! Out of here! Return to sender! Get your ass out of here! Burn in hell! Oh my god! Bro, get out of here! Get out of here! I got a horse to love me. The achievement sniper duel made no sense because I attempted this multiple times and at points I thought I was far enough but came to find out you need to be a distance so far away that the skeletons literally disappear to get the 100 block distance. And I got so lucky on this because the skeleton was trapped in this village house because of sunlight and it made it easy pickings to grab this achievement. Literally, he disappears right here. Come on. Let's fucking, let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, I finally got it. Oh my God. Yes. Zombie Doctor almost gave me a heart attack because for some reason, the devs thought that everyone in this world needed to hear a villager become normal again after curing him. That is so fucking loud. Dude, that is insanely loud. I easily tie-dyed my leather outfits, and I soon came to realize that on the Xbox 360 version, you are limited to a certain amount of blocks on each world, depending on if you set your map to small, medium, or large. My world legit did not spawn a desert, ocean, and enough villages and items to get many of these achievements. So I found a wooden mansion to get feeling ill, and uh, accidentally got the cheating death achievement for using my totem to make sure I don't die. <laughs> That's why, bro. That's why. No, no, I'm going. 
To end out my day two of this achievement grind, I went looking for my 16th die of wool, which to be the bearer of bad news, my world did not have scion wool. I spent hours looking for all the 16 combinations of wool to inevitably be told if I don't get the best of luck and RNG that I'm shit out of luck. If you don't believe that I went looking and checked out every single inch of this world, I got the map room achievement at the same time, which is unlocked by exploring the whole map and then putting it on an item frame. If you look closely at the map, I have zero deserts for cocoa beans to make brown wool, no snow biomes for igloos, and no ocean biomes for really any of the aquatic achievements. I ended my day two session grind with the music to my ears achievement. God, I say achievement a lot. Okay, that's like not just depressing, that's like scary. Take it out. Take it out. That's fucking creepy. Okay, here we go. Jesus Christ, I don't know what the fuck they were doing with that one. Continuing into my third day, I only managed to unlock five achievements. The trend you're going to experience is that when you get the easy and happy-go-lucky achievements, you end up saving the RNG-ridden, long-having, and annoying-ass achievements for last, whether you like it or not. I went into the world and immediately made a stupid mistake again. <gasps> no! I'm gonna tell you right now, that was actually an accident. I'm not even joking. No way. I'm not even joking at all. <sighs> After that stupid ass mistake, I started out by trying to get the Haggler achievement, which is by trading or obtaining at least 30 emeralds altogether. Lucky for me though, I only needed to collect 10 because I collected 20 out of the 30 emeralds to begin with. So go young and pass me. Then my ADHD started to come through and I decided to make a mob spawner to get XP to enchant my armor and weapons for the Ender Dragon and Wither fights. I knew I was bad at the controllers, so I needed everything in my power to help me defeat them to only find out that I built my mob spawner wrong and it pooped out a creeper or a spider like every 45 minutes. So I wasted around three and a half hours building this stupid thing to technically work, but not. What is wrong with me? Now, I need you to all hold on to yourselves, okay? I cheesed some achievements and progressions, all right? Minecraft has tutorial worlds, but with the newer updates, they were expanding from the OG Minecraft tutorial and made the new tutorials become like free roam, unlock everything, and give everything type of thing. I had to discuss with my chat and everyone to explain that my previous world that I've been achievement hunting on is literally impossible to get a good amount of achievements. Like seriously, I couldn't get the rainbow collection achievement without going into the tutorial world. In order to get some of these achievements, I had to get a desert, ocean biome, possibly mansions, and others to only hope they contain the ingredients for all colors of wool. From this point on, you're going to see a lot of the tutorial world because the chances are near impossible in the Xbox 360. I'm sorry, but I promise you, this does not change much because I am 20 hours in for my total time of around 200 hours to 100% this game. I also tamed a cat because I didn't get a jungle biome to, you guessed it, RNG and only unlocked those two achievements before moving back into my previous world to get the achievements without cheesing them. I got two more achievements that were easy to an extent and didn't rely on RNG. Trampoline, which was the process of building super high and falling onto a slime block to bounce 30 blocks high. Then finally, to end out my day three, a change of sheets, which is simply by dyeing your bed a different color. Change of sheets, which is what this game is gonna make me do. I'm gonna fucking shit my pants. Bruh. Oh baby, day four was super, super eventful. First, I wanted to fight the Ender Dragon, and this is where a problem came up. Endermen, when killed, have a 50% chance of dropping an Ender Pearl, so that's not bad, but on the Xbox 360 edition, the Endermen themselves barely spawn. I spent day three looking for three hours and found not a single Enderman. I was in awe of just how bad the spawn distance was, so I managed to find a spawn point of them and started to farm them. I somehow managed to have enough Ender Pearls to get the beam me up achievement for fun. This is the achievement. Here we go. All right. A one, a two, a scared little dude. Yeet.
Yeah, let's go. Woo! <laughs> Godspeed, Spider-Man. Immediately after that process, I headed into the end portal, got the achievement for it, and I collected the Dragon's Breath for the achievement as well. Then I pulled my godlike gamer status out and went after the Ender Dragon. Let's go! Out of here. <laughs> Let's go! After my tussle with the big head bitch of a dragon, I got some other miscellaneous achievements like taste of your own medicine for poisoning a witch with a splash potion, overkill for dealing nine hearts of damage to an enemy in a single hit, and then achieving camouflage for killing any mob enemy with their type of head. Killing the ender dragon wasn't the only thing I went after, I went after the wither as well during that same stream. But listen very carefully, okay? The wither skeletons are the baddies that I need to kill so I can get four wither skeleton heads to spawn the wither. But, and this is a big but, the wither skeleton heads have a 2.5% chance of dropping when killing said wither skeletons. And even if I got a looting three enchantment, it would only increase it to an 8.5% altogether. Initially, I took up this challenge, farmed my way up to get a looting three sword and went after it. I spent over an hour plus killing these little stupid heads and got nothing absolutely nothing and this is where i need god and your forgiveness because do you remember the tutorial world i mentioned earlier well it's a little funny because they give all the heads needed to spawn the wither in the same chest as the 16 die achievement i hope you haven't reported me to microsoft yet because i spent so long talking to my chat and myself about it if i should do this and it obviously came down to do it in the tut world i'm sorry but the spawn rates of the wither skeletons are atrocious and i can't make any farms on this edition because it's so old and most times don't work properly. I apologize, but I was not going to spend days on end hyper-focusing on an 8.5% chance when the solution is in a tut world they let you have. So that's exactly what I did. I grabbed the skeleton's heads, made my bunker to fight them, spawned the bad guy, and went after them. Oh my god, it's lagging. He's killing himself. Ow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, he was lagging my game so bad. Wow. Shortly after, I found a duplication glitch in the tut level as well. This is another case of, hey, this is like near impossible with the amount of time I have and decided to get this achievement here. The Beaconator achievement wants you to make the most powerful beacon slash pyramid known to mankind. Another reason why I did this is because you need the nether star, which is what you get from killing the wither. I was left without a choice at that point. On top of that, the amount of resources you need to build this thing is damn near impossible without a farm of sorts, but once again, I'm on the shittiest version of this game. You have to build a full pyramid of four layers of pristine blocks of either iron, gold, diamond, or emeralds. You have to make a 9x9, 7x7, 5x5, and a 3x3 with a beacon on top. This in total will be 164 blocks of whatever resource you choose. And every block to be made requires 9 ores of said block. This again, in total, will be 1,476 pieces of whatever resource you get. Now tell me with a straight face, would any of you attempt this on an Xbox 360? Where the RNG is not in your favor, you can't really get good seeds, your controls are whack, there are no commands and nothing to help you in any regard. Overall, I'm just complaining over here, but at the end of this wild night, my internet decided to shut off right before I started to build it, which luckily it came back on, and I achieved this monstrosity of an achievement.
Yes. That was, I don't know how anybody would be able to do that. Honest to God, how in the world? Day five was a quick one. I only had a handful of achievements left that I could only do on this world. I had to make a new world for the aquatic, multiplayer, and miscellaneous achievements. And yes, we are only around 30 hours of the 200 hours I've put into these achievements. I hope you did not forget that Minecraft has multiplayer achievements, which are easier than you think, but that'll be in a bit. Some of the remaining achievements included overpowered for eating a notch apple or a golden enchanted apple, chest full of cobblestone, which is to get a chest full of cobblestone. Do I need to explain anymore? Then on the rail, which was actually one of the original 20 achievements for the game that I missed on, it's as simple as making a super straight rail track for 500 blocks in one direction. Another achievement that I could get was a great view from up here, which entails you to get pushed up 50 blocks by the shulkers that make some weird ass noises when shooting at you. I'm almost done, I swear, but another achievement involved responding the ender dragon to get the end again achievement i also went after the supersonic achievement and personally this one was really fun not just because it's a difficult one but i got to talk to my chat and get them involved to see what attempt i would get it on that's henderson yeah all right so 16 chat keep track i'm gonna go Sixteen! Woo! All right, sixty gamer score for that. Wow! Finally, at the end of day five, I got two more simple achievements for staying underwater for two minutes and staying underwater for one full day without using potions. So, this this is what I posted. Let's go home, sleep with the fishes, and I crashed. <laughs> we got the achievement. Let's go! And it crashed. <laughs> yeah, we got it. <laughs> Perfect. We got to see it, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> 69. What a perfect 69. Let's go. Chat, you know what to say. Say the word. At the end of the night, I fully completed everything I could in my achievement world for a total of 69 out of 93 achievements. Nice. This would be the last day I would stream Minecraft. With 24 achievements left, and 14 of them being multiplayer, I knew I could finish this game quick, but there was a problem. I have had this game for over a decade now, and I have an old ass avatar awards unlocked in my account. And a specific achievement named Passing the Time requires a player to stay in one single world and survive 100 day and night cycles. This is around 33 hours of real time if you just played back to back to back. This is where the time started to add up, but I didn't find this out until the very end. So let's get you all caught up with the 23 remaining achievements. I pulled a random 12 hour stream out of my ass to do as much as I could. After the initial 69 achievements I could get from my previous world, I went into the multiplayer game modes to unlock those 14 achievements. Luck was finally on my side. My girlfriend had spare controllers for me to use, so you do not have to play with other people online to get those online achievements. 13 out of these 14 achievements required one additional player or one controller. You just set up a public match, make your second controller join, and start the game up. Simple as that. One of the achievements named Cupid, good timing with Valentine's Day, wants you to kill two players in a single round with a bow and arrow. And my ever so loving girlfriend had two controllers for me. Overall, I loaded many multiplayer matches and got the achievements pretty easy. Seriously, here's a quick list of them so you understand how simple they are and they include Mine, Hunger Pain, Cupid, again, Tis But a Scratch, The Student Has Become the Master, Hot Shot, Snowplow, Underdog, Snowstorm, Back from the Dead, Overlord, S Snow Throw, and my last multiplayer achievement including Sharing Diamonds. How sweet. Yes, sir. That is multiplayer done. We have 10 achievements left. 
To not make this video any longer than it should be, these next few achievements were really simple as well. I would have already unlocked them days prior if I could have only gotten the good biome RNG, but the last aquatic achievements before the big and painful ones were the deep end for killing like a mini boss of Minecraft named the Elder Guardian, dry spell for putting a sponge in a furnace for some reason, so I got that going for me for getting a full squad of llamas, one pickle, two pickle, C pickle, four for placing C pickles in one block? Bro, I'ma be honest, why the hell are these even achievements in the first place? But continuing on, I activated a conduit for the Bastraumen achievement, sorry, echolocation for bribing a dolphin to do my dirty work, and then finally, cast away for only eating kelp for three days. With my progress at 91 of 93 achievements unlocked, we are now down to the nitty gritty. I have two achievements left named Let It Go and Passing the Time. These two achievements were the cause of pain and agony, to the point where I had to do all of this offline now. During this same stream, I attempted to go after the Let It Go achievement, which is as simple as using the Frostwalker boots and walking across a deep ocean. Not so bad, right? Wrong. To have the ability to unlock this, you will need an enchantment book with the name Frostwalker. Frostwalker Boots, from my research, is a treasure enchantment which means it can only be obtained from a jungle temple, stronghold chest loot, fishing, raid drops, or trading with a librarian. And guess what everybody, this is purely RNG to the highest degree of all time. I do not know the chances of any of these, but just trust me when I say this, you have to make new worlds constantly over and over and over to possibly get a jungle, to possibly get a temple, to possibly get raids, and to possibly get a librarian to trade with the exact book. Which, by the way, there are a shit ton of books they can trade, and they only trade one book per librarian, and in most cases, you get one librarian per village. Do you see why this was a nightmare? I, during my sixth day, fished over seven hours. I'm not even joking at this point. I finished all of the other 91 achievements at the five hour mark of my stream. My chat and I were thinking of theories and best strategies to get this Frostwalker book, and everyone agreed that resetting for seeds was too slow, which I forgot to mention. Minecraft on the Xbox 360 was one of the slowest loading and choppy games I've ever played in a while. So, we've decided that I'm going to get the Luck of the C3 enchantment on my fishing rod and go at it. Let me tell you something, I cannot believe I even did this. I have the full VOD on my Twitch channel, and soon to be YouTube channel, of me fishing over and over and over. And guess what? After the 12 hour stream, I did not get the book at all. But off stream, I did not give up. I stopped fishing because I wanted to commit fish genocide. So I decided to look up a random seed that included a lot of villages. And I came across a random person posting seed of villages that might have librarians. I immediately loaded it up, which this was days after trying offline for a while. And I managed to get a librarian that was trading a Frostwalker 2 book. And let me tell you, I freaked out at the instant in my Discord, which you should join, by sending screenshots and I got my genuine reaction to getting the achievement. After hours and hours, and I'm not exaggerating, trying to find the boots, boots, trying to find the books, oh my god. I found them. I have enough emeralds, I got a book, Oh my god, I got it. Oh. Oh. Yes. Finally, it comes down to the 93rd achievement, passing the time. I have put over 200 hours into this achievement alone. I explained it a little bit before, but my account is actually bugged because I have the Minecraft watch for my Xbox avatar. This watch is what you get as an award for getting the passing the time achievement. That's where the problem lies. I have attempted this achievement on this exact Xbox six times now. As I'm writing this script, I have my Xbox on right beside me, still going for the achievement. I have done everything in my power to get this achievement as well. 
I refuse to give up and let this game not let me 100%. I have deleted my profile, re-downloaded the game, deleted my avatar awards and everything. So hopefully by the time I start recording this voiceover, I will have somehow finally gotten this achievement. I have recorded myself with two possible outcomes to this video. You will have no idea which is which because this is exactly what I put in the script, but this voice line right here will be the deciding factor. After 200 plus hours of leaving my Xbox 360 on and attempting this six times, I can finally say at the end of this Minecraft journey, I have finally unlocked this damn achievement on February 12th, 2023. Let's go. It's over and I never have to play this god awful version ever again. Woo! This is the good ending of the video that I recorded. Now I get to brag that I have all 93 of the original Xbox 360 achievements for Minecraft. I am happy about this accomplishment, and if you all enjoyed this journey, make sure to check out my last Platinum video of Marvel's Spider-Man on PC. It was a very fun video to make and a fun one to play. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to check out my Twitch channel to see more behind the scenes of what I do. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next one.